Hello beautiful people, this is your story Christine. Um, I'm glad to be back once again to share some more uh, fun and interesting facts about another beautiful country from the continent of Africa. For those that are joining me for the first time, thanks, thanks for being here. And for those that have been following my previous videos, I want to thank you so much for uh, joining us once again. Um, so in this series, just like the other series, I'm going to be sharing some history, uh, culture and lifestyle about the people of Mozambique. So um, if you're uh, uh, interested in knowing uh, more about the people of Africa, you're right, you're in the right place. So why don't we get started? Now this is gonna, these uh, uh, fun and interesting facts are gonna be read to you by yours truly, Christine, courtesy of Exhibit Africa Ubuntu Initiative, compiled by everyculture.com. So let's get started with some orientation about Mozambique. So the culture name for Mozambique is Mozambican. Uh, let's get that, let's uh, move to the orientation. So Arab traders who made their way down from the East African coast mingled with African people, creating a hybrid culture and a language called Swahili. The culture still pre predominates in several East African countries and exerts a strong influence in Northern Mozambique the name Mozambique is thought to come from the Swahili Musa al-Big, the name of the ancient Arab sheikh or chief who lived on the northern era de Mozambique. Okay, now let's move on to the location and geography of Mozambique. Mozambique is on the southeastern coast of Africa bordering Tanzania, Malawi and Zambia to the north, Zimbabwe to the west, South Africa and Swaziland to the south, and the Mozambican Channel to the east. The capital Maputo is in the south near the coast. The area of the country is three is uh, three point is three hundred eight uh, six hundred and forty two square miles. Uh, the the terrain ranges from rainforest and swamps to mountains, grassland, sand dunes, and beaches. The Zambezi River is an important natural resource supplying power through the Kahola Basa Dam, one of Africa's largest hydroelectric projects. The Zambezi flows west to east and cuts the country into the northern and southern regions that diverge to some extent in terms of culture and history as well as climate. There are two main seasons, the wet season from November through March and the dry season from April through October. Drought is common, particularly in the south. However, the country also has experienced devastating floods, most recently in 1999. Mozambique is a great Mozambique has great diversity of animal life, including zebras, water buffaloes, elephants, giraffes, lions, hippopotamus, crocodiles. The country has established national parks and game reserves where these animals are protected. Now, before we move on to the demography, I just want to mention that some of the uh, events that I might be sh that I might share um, uh, with regards to Mozambique might be outdated. So I would uh, kindly suggest that if you have any updated information, please feel free to engage and share those in the comments. Okay, now moving on to demography. The estimated population in 1998 was 1 .6, was 18.6 million people. That has probably gone up or down as we speak. Uh, the figure represents a twofold increase uh, since 1970. Mozambique once had the highest growth rate, growth, growth rate in Southern Africa, but the rate of increase declined significantly from the mid 1970s through the 1990s as civil war caused losses from both death and immigration. Uh, there are about 1.1 million Mozambicans in Malawi and Zimbabwe. More than two-fifths of the population is under the age of 15. The population is divided among roughly six, 60 different ethnic groups, including nine major ones. The largest group is the Makualomwe in the north, who account for about half of the population. Further north are the Makonde near the coast and the Yao near Lake Malawi. Southern tribes include Songer, the Karanga, the Chopi, the Shona, and the Nguni. 
roughly 3% of the population is European, Indian, Chinese, Pakistan or Mestizo mixed, that is mixed African and European. These people are concentrated on the coastal cities and usually work as doctors, teachers, shopkeepers, all industrial laborers. Okay, so let's move on to the uh, uh, linguistic affiliation. The official language is Portuguese, a legacy of the country's colonizers. When Mozambique gained independence in 1975, Frelimo wanted to evict the colonial language but was not successful in finding a replacement. No other language is spoken by the majority. In the north, the Bantu languages of, ya of Yao and Makua predominate. In the Zambezi Valley, it is the Nyan, it is the Nyanja, uh, Nyanja is the uh, uh, the dominant language. And in the south, Nsonga is spoken. Along the northern coast, many people speak Swahili. Portuguese is the language of education and government, but is rarely spoken outside the cities. Because six of the neighboring countries are former British colonies. English is used occasionally, particularly in Maputo, in dealings with business people and tourists from South Africa. Let's look at the symbolism. The flag consists of horizontal bands of green, black, and yellow with a red triangle at the left border. The center is a yellow star overlaid with a book, symbolizing education, a horse symbolizing agriculture, and a rifle which stands to, uh, a, a rifle which stands for defense and uh, vigilance. Right now, let's move on to the history and ethnic relations. Emergence uh, of the nation. The earliest inhabitants were small groups of hunters and gatherers, gatherers such as the Khoi and the Sun. These groups were part of what is known as the Bushmen. These nomadic people eventually moved out of the inter, out, out, um, out of the intermarried of the intermarried with. Uh, I beg your pardon. These groups are. Uh, were part of what is known as the Bushmen. These nomadic people eventually moved out, all intermarried with Bantu-speaking tribes that came to the area around the 3rd century CE. In the 18th century, Arab traders began establishing trading posts along the coast. By the 4th century, those settlers had developed into independent city-states and were the main political and commercial centers in the area. The Portuguese explorer Vasco da Gama was the first European to reach uh, the current day Mozambique. When he arrived in 1498, the Maravi kingdom of the Mwene Mapata was in control of central Zambezi Benson. Da Gama first landed in the Muslim island town uh, in the Muslim island town of Mozambique and by uh, 1510 the Portuguese controlled trading from the Sofala in present-day Mozambique, north of Mogadishu in what is known as Somalia. In 1515, they began to expand their explorations into the interior with the intention of further controlling trade and taking control of gold mines. They sub subdued the inhabitants and over the next century claimed rights of the vast areas of land and the people who lived there whom they forced to work on their farms and their gold mines. The Muena Maparta recognized Portuguese rule in 1629. The Portuguese called the area Terra da Bao Gente, country of the good people. Portuguese rule was challenged by local landlords, uh, presilos, who wanted power for themselves. And by fighting among the African tribes, they were trying to subdue. In the late 17th century, the, Ros the, Roswe, the, the Roswe Kingdom defeated the Mwene Mapata and forced the Portuguese south of the, south of the Zambezi River. Portuguese supremacy continued to wane until the end of the 18th century. When the Portuguese uh, seized, seized control of the port of De La Gao Bay in the south, later named uh, Lorenco Marcos, today's Maputo, the capital. In 1752, the first colonial governor was appointed. 
slavery existed in the area before the Portuguese came, but they introduced the concept of exporting slaves. And by the 1790, and by 1790, 9,000 people were being shipped out each year. The slave trade took the wealthiest young people, uh, snapping many cultures of their vitality and growth. In the early 1800s, when the British began to pass laws against the slave trade in West Africa, this opened new, new opportunities uh, for it to grow along the eastern coast of the continent. Even after the Portuguese outlawed slavery in 1878, it went on for many years. The Zulu, president, the Zulu presented another challenge to Portuguese rule. Under the leadership of the warrior Shaka, the Zulu tribe expanded its dom domain by attacking villages throughout southern Africa. The Zulu also battled the Portuguese, capturing the fort of Loreco Marcos in 1833. European colonizers in nearby territories refused to recognize the Portuguese claim for Mozamb to Mozambique. The British in particular contested several areas in the south of the colony and actively ruled the areas to which they laid claim. In 1875, this dispute erupted into a major conflict that was settled in Portugal's favor. A conference was held in 1885 and 1886 in Berlin in an attempt to divide the African continent peacefully among European colonizers. Portugal claimed a territory that stretched from Angola to the west coast of Mozambique in the east. The, Brit the British did not agree to this. The boundary walls were fought until uh, Portugal relinquished um, Mashona land, part of the current day Mozambique. Zimbabwe in 1891. The Portuguese also had to subdue the African inhabitants of, of their colony, which was particularly difficult in the interior Zambezi region and in the north. In the late 1800s, the uh, Portugal chartered private companies to oversee inland territories, superseding the power of the local landlords. In 1907, in an attempt to solidate the force uh, to solidate and enforce its power and to combat local corruption, Portugal moved uh, the administration of Mozambique from Lisbon to offices in the colony itself. During World War I, Portugal conscripted thousands of Mozambique men to fight for the Allies. This resulted in a violent uh, uprising in, 1970, in 1917. More than 130,000 Mozambicans died in the war. With the establishment of Colonial Act in 1930, Mozambique's limited autonomy was replaced by a more centralized Portuguese administration. In 1951, Portugal declared the colony as an overseas province. Throughout the 1950s, the Portuguese government attempted to increase the white population. This combined with atrocious treatment of the African population led to steady migration out of Mozambique to the neighboring countries. In the 1960s, Mozambique was swept up in the Pan-African movement towards independence. The secret police suppressed the actions of the political organizers who were forced to work in the nearby African nations. In 1962, exiled leaders in Tanzania established Frelimo. Um, the Mozambican Liberation Front. Frelimo, led by Eduardo Mondale, Modlan, Modlen, was strongest, was strongest military in the north, from where it drew most of its guerrilla fighters. Fighting between Frelimo and the Portuguese troops broke out in 1964. After this, Portugal spent more than 70,000 troops sent uh, more than 70,000 troops to subdue the uprising. However, it was a costly war and when Portugal and however, it was a costly war and when Portuguese army officers revolted in the mid 1970s, uh, the colonial government collapsed. When Portugal's army uh, uh, Mozambique gained independence on the 25th of June 1975. With the beginning of the independence movement, many Portuguese fled the country and the white population fell from 20,000 to 30,000 in 1977.
Prelimo was declared the new ruler and established a government based on Marxist Leninist ideology. However, conflict with the Frelimo leadership, both political and ethnic, was widespread. The conflict had already led to violence, including the assassination of Mondlane in the late 1960s. Frelimo was, uh, was also faced Frelimo also faced external opposition, most notably from the lib from the labor group called Rema Rema Renamo, the Mozambican National Resistance. The ongoing civil war that resulted the ongoing civil war that resulted uh, disrupted Mozambique's, Mozambique's economy, caused tens of thousands of deaths and forced large numbers of people out of their home stages, of, out of their homes and villages. In the late 1980s, Frelimo, under the pressure from the International Monetary Fund, renounced its Marxist stand in order to receive foreign aid. In 1990, a new constitution was introduced that allowed for multi-party democracy. On the 4th, on 4th October 1992, the civil war officially ended with a peace accord uh, that was signed by Frelimo and Rem 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 Renamo leaders. Let's look at the national identity. The country is divided along both ethnic and linguistic lines. Mozambicans often identify primarily with the tribe or the linguistic group. However, the independence movement that began in the 1950s, 1960s was a unifying force, causing these, uh, causing these uh, disparate elements to join together in resisting the Portuguese. Ironically, some of the main unifying un some of the main unifying factors in the country have been remnants of the colonial system, including the Portuguese language and the Roman Catholic religion. This was most evident in the central Zambezi River, where Portuguese influence was strongest. Let's look at the ethnic relations. Despite um, ethnic, uh, ethnic and linguistic differences, there is little conflict among various groups. The greatest cultural disparities are those that are those which divide the north of the country from the south. The groups north, uh, the groups north of the Zambezi follow a system of matrilineal descent. Many of them are semi-nomadic, moving very few years, moving every few years uh, to more fertile soil. Because they are far from the capital and other urban centers, these northern groups show less influence from the Portuguese. South of the river in the Zambezi Valley, the people adopted Portuguese dress, language, and religion to a larger extent. Let's move on to urban, urban, urbanization, architecture, and use of space. All the main cities are located on the coast. Maputo was constructed on a European model and has wide streets, public gardens, paved sidewalks inlaid with mosaic tiles. The city has two parts, the older residential area on a cliff overlooking the harbor and the newer in the industrial area where the factories, port facilities and most office buildings are located. In the 1950s, the Portuguese architecture Amacio uh, designed many of the city's office and uh, apartment buildings which combine shapes and symbols from traditional African art with a modern sensibility. Most of the cities took a large number, large number of refugees from the countryside during the civil war. To cope with the sudden population increase, shanty towns were uh, erected along the outskirts. Poor sanitation in those settlements led to the spread of disease. Government planners have been attempting to combat this problem by building low-cost apartments, but they have been unable to keep up with the growing population. Baila, the second largest city, is primarily a port. Located several hundred miles north of Maputo on the coast, it is the center of the uh, commercial fishing industry and a center of trade with Malawi and Zimbabwe. Like Maputo, sorry, like Maputo, it took a large number of refugees during the civil war. It is also a Portuguese-style colonial city. Mampula, uh, is in the north and is the third largest city and was established in the late 1960s when the Portuguese drained a swamp and built it. Uh, 
The city grew even more rapidly than expected, partly as a result of its local, uh, as a result of its location along the commercial layry, uh, layryway, between, layryway between Malawi and the port of Nakara. However, despite its harbor and modern facilities, Mapula has declined it in importance because of the, the deterioration of the la uh, railroad line that leads from the city to the interior and to Malawi. The oldest surviving settlement is Mozambique Island in the north. The Arab architecture of the 12th and 13th century, including coral block mosques and houses, is still standing. Fort St. Sebastian, a huge stone fort built by the Portuguese in uh, 1507, is another physical uh, uh, testament to the island's history. The port has been preserved as a museum. The country continues to thrive with large Asian and Muslim population. Or the town, I beg your pardon, the town continues to thrive with large Asian and Muslim population. The country has also uh, the country also has um, the remains of several ancient cities, including uh, Nhakaranga, near the border of Zimbabwe. The site has a, a stone uh, first fortress with paths and tunnels and traces of terraces on the nearby hills, indicating earlier settlement. Archaeologists speculate that the country has many more long uninhabited cities that have been have not been discovered. However, research into them has been impended by the Civil War. Much historic colonial architecture was destroyed in the Civil War. Renamo's strategy was to destroy every building that Frelimo elected. The destruction extended to include even small structures in the countryside until the whole country was virtually destroyed. Despite the rapid growth of the cities, nine-tenth nine of the population is rural. Traditional village houses around, around huts made of poles held together with mud and thatched roofs made of palm leaves. However, most homes built today are made of cement blocks and have tin roofs. Each village erects a boma around its perimeter. This is a, this is a fence with sharp posts that provides protection against attacks by lions and other wild animals. The, village, the, the fields lie outside Boma. Villages are centered on a cattle pen called Kral, all a community building. Now let's move on to the food and economy. Food in daily life. Most of the crops originally cultivated in the region have been uh, uh, supplanted by Europe, European imports. The exception is millet, a grain that sometimes is made into beer. The diet of rural residents is, is based on cassava root, which is called mandioco, mandioca in Portuguese. It is, it is important, uh, its importance is uh, testified to it, to it by its name, which translates to the all-sufficient. The marable food um, source can be baked uh, dried in the sun or mashed with water to form a porridge. In most, uh, in its most common form, it is uh, ground into a coarse flour along with corn and then mixed with cassava leaves and water. The resulting dough is served in carabashes. Corn is the other step of food. Both corn and cassava were introduced from the Americans by the Portuguese. Cashews, pineapples, peanuts, which are other important foods, foods, found their way to Mozambique in the same way. Along the coast, the cuisine is even more varied, and the Portuguese influenced. Um, along, I beg your pardon. Along the coast, the cuisine is a more varied and Portuguese influenced than it is in the main areas. The diet there includes more fruit and rice, as well as seafood. Uh, dishes such as makanza, all grilled selfish kebabs, bakal, bakalho, uh, which is a uh, dried salt cord, and chocho, chocos, which is squid cooked in its ink. Food is seasoned with pepper, onions, and coconut. P 
palm wine shema is a popular drink let's look at the food customs and ceremonial occasions at ceremonial occasions food is part of many uh, celebrations it's a custom it's customary to serve a meal at parties rituals and other social gatherings 80 percent of the people work in agriculture oh i beg your pardon okay um for, uh, for the poor who are the vast majority of the population, while uh, ceremonial occasions often, often entail large feasts, the food served is the same as what may be eaten every day. Let's look at the basic economy. The gross international product has nearly uh, no growth rate and, one, and is one of the lowest in the world. Although only 5% of the land is arable, 80% of the people work in agriculture. The farming techniques are primitive, in involving uh, few tools and work animals. After independence, many farms were organized on the basis of Chinese and Cuban models. However, with the changes imposed by the International Monetary Fund in the late 1980s, a system of decentralization and private ownership was introduced. The main crops cultivated are corn, cassava, coconuts, Peanuts, cotton, sugar, cashew nuts. However, the nation cannot meet its food needs, particularly for corn, and must import large quantities of food. Mozambique's currency is the Metico. All right, let's look at the land tenure and property. There is no tradition. There is no tradition of private land ownership. Land belongs to the community rather than to any individuals. When the country won independence, the socialist Frelimo government took over ownership of all land from the Portuguese and encouraged villagers to farm collectively according to their traditions. Let's look at the commercial activities. The main goods produced for sale within the country are agriculture. Uh, agriculture. Farmers grow corn, cassava, peanuts, bananas, cypress, fruits for their own consumption. Some of these products are sold at local markets and some are transported to the capital and other cities for sale. Uh, major industries. Agriculture is by far the largest industry. Fishing along the coast, particularly shrimp, accounts for one third of the country's exports. The rivers also provide fish and there are several fisheries that produce macar, anchovies and prawns. Mining and manufacturing account for one-fifth of the gross domestic product. The principal products are uh, uh, coral, beryllium, uh, limestone, and salt. There are also deposits of tantalite, co uh, iron, core, urane, iron ore, uranium, copper, gold, and diamonds. The country also manufactures textiles, plastics, beverages, food, cement, glass, and asbestos. Let's move on to the trade. Uh, the main exports are shrimp, cashews, cotton, sugar, and timber, which go primarily to Spain, the United States, Japan, Portugal, and Portugal. Imports of food are machinery, imports are food, machinery, petroleum, and consumer goods that come from South Africa and the United States, Portugal, and Italy. The country has an favorable. The country has unfavorable. A trade balance, although it is alleviated somewhat by remittances sent by Mozambicans working in South Africa. Let's look at the division of labor. The workforce is divided primarily along geographical lines. The majority of the population is rural and these people are farmers. In cities, they are more skilled workers as well as street vendors and a small white, white collar force workforce. Professionals such as teachers, lawyers, and government officials constitute a small percentage of the population and generally come from a smaller number of middle class or wealthy families.